Here we are. My apartment is just around the corner. Used to belong to the super. It's a lot bigger than the others, but I only pay standard rent. The landlord has a thing for nurses. Grab a seat. I'm just gonna get out of these things. I oughta... Uh-uh, you're not running off yet. Warm up before you head back out there. I haven't thanked you yet. Five minutes, come on, sit. Sit! Watch some TV if you want. I won't be long. You know, last time I had a guy in my apartment, it was summer. During the heat wave. Now it's winter. Freaky early, but still. Time flies. I saw you looking. I was... Oh, don't ruin it making excuses. I take compliments where I can get them. <clears throat> you okay? Headache. Can you get me some pills? There's some in the cabinet in the bathroom. Bring me some of the blue ones. Okay.
look in the cabinet. Bottom shelf. Thanks. Water? No, fine. Self-medication. <laughs> the one true perk of the healthcare profession. It's not just coffee that keeps us going 24-7. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sleep now. You let yourself out. You feel guilty about everything. When we all lived in huts and wore furs, we worried over the simple things. Food, water, whether animals would come and eat us in the night. Now we have supermarkets, bottled water, and 38 caliber home security. So what keeps us awake at night? More often than not, guilt. If only I had acted differently. If only I hadn't said that. If only I'd said something. You beat yourself up with your past. Don't blame yourself. Blame the world. Blame God. Blame me. Okay, this is my favorite. Let me introduce some friends of mine. This is King Harold. His daughter, the chaste Celestine. A prince called Wilhelm and a bull. He doesn't have a name. Prince Wilhelm is passionately in love with Celestine, but she does not love him. One day, Wilhelm comes to the king and asks for Celestine's hand in marriage. Celestine begs the king not to marry her to Wilhelm, but the king ignores her pleas. Royal protocol means he must say yes to the match. They are married, and Wilhelm takes Celestine back with him to his kingdom. That night, he attempts to consummate the marriage, but the distraught Celestine flees. She runs from the safety of the castle and across a field, ignoring the sign which warns of danger. In that field is a bull, who, seeing the girl, charges her. She falls under his hooves and is killed instantly. 
What I want you to do is line the players up according to how guilty they are of Celestine's death. Whose fault was it? At the left, most culpable. To the right, most innocent. You want to hear that again? done? Poor Harold. You felt he should have ignored protocol. I find the best cure for guilt is to never get caught in the first place. Let's continue. I'm calling because you, uh, I'm... Are you a tenant? No. No, I just... Oh, Christ. You know what time it is? Why don't you go wake up some other prick?
What's up? I'm on my way to Simmons Street. Taking longer than I thought. And you took time out to make sure I was okay? Thanks, Harry. No John, then? Not yet. I've half a mind to change out of this dress into something more comfortable. I'll give it until midnight, then I turn back into a pumpkin. Good luck. Let me know when you get home, okay? Sure. Stay calm, Lisa. I'm coming. Please hurry. I... Thank you. 
Harry. Lisa? No! no. Don't move. No. This isn't what... I said don't move. Stand up and step away from the girl. This isn't what it looks like. Stop talking. What have you done? She was in an accident. I didn't do this. Accident? Shut the hell up. You've been feeding me bullshit all night. You bastard. I didn't... Shut up! I know you're not Harry Mason.
shops now. Yeah, I have the list. Need a coffee. Yeah, she's here with me now. Can I have some bubble gum? Sure. Here. She wanted some gum. It's not candy. When did anyone get a sugar rush off gum? No, I don't want those colors. I want my favorite colors. Okay, what are your favorite colors? I forgot. I didn't forget. You hear that? Yeah, she won't tell me. Uh-huh, the cartoon bird? See, Daddy does remember. Yes. with you. Where are we going? Food court. We need a drink before we start shopping properly. through to Toluca Mall Enterprises HR department. Susan Spencer is no longer employed by this company. For all HR inquiries, please contact us by mail.
After three in the afternoon, a retailer called in a shoplifter on the first floor. Sure enough, it's that girl again. Why am I holding off grabbing her? I, I guess I, I feel sorry for her. When we uh, took her in last time, she was, uh, she was so mad, so angry, just kicking and screaming, and clearly got her own share of problems. I don't mind grabbing the kids who are just messing about. Don't mind grabbing those uh, preppy little shits and just, uh, you know, showing off, but I feel bad with her. Yeah, she's, uh, she's moving. I need one that looks just like this. It's a present. We got lots of breeds. I, I can recommend... Uh... No, 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 no. I need one exactly like this. It's a present. Okay, okay. Come take a look over here. Cute fish.
Bedrock security. That, uh, Toluca Mall. I'm trying to get out to Simmons Street. Uh, you're the guy I've been seen uh, wandering around in the dark with a flashlight. I guess. Been watching you. Yeah. Makes a change from all the local kids breaking in, making out, drinking. Is that why you here? Sorry? For the kids. No! I'm trying to get to Simmons Street. Sure. And I'm, uh, I'm just watching all these cameras because the pay is good. I got your back. Every little girl's dream. Hello, and welcome to the Evans Shell Toy Recall Line. To determine if your product is included in the current recall, please listen to the following information. The affected toy is the Red Hot Racer miniature car. The affected toys were assembled by a specific subcontractor during a limited time frame. Please look at the underside of the toy and check for a six-digit alphanumeric code on the base of the car, such as 3255RX. If this code begins with the numbers 42, 43, or 46, then your product is included in our recall program. Please store the toy in a safe place and call back during office hours to arrange a refund. Here at Evans Shell, of paramount importance to us is the safety of the children who play with our toys. We value the trust of the families who have chosen to make our toys part of their lives and always respond immediately to any issues that pose a potential threat, however small.
and welcome to the Evans Shell Toy Recall Line. To determine if your product is included in the current recall, please listen to the following information. The affected toy is the Red Hot Racer miniature car. The affected toys were assembled by a specific subcontractor during a limited time frame. Please look at the underside of the toy and check for a six-digit alphanumeric code on the base of the car, such as 3255RX. If this code begins with the numbers 42, 43, or 46, then your product is included in our recall program. Please store the toy in a safe place and call back during office hours to arrange a refund.
It's Kevin. I uh, need to get out back, but you forgot to tell me the code. You did? Was I drunk? Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Got it.
They log these calls, man. The store was closed all afternoon. They had photographers in doing photos for the for the brochures, all that shit. No, they don't use real customers. They got models. But damn, these girls were hot. I mean, even the old ones. You know, like really sexy. Better than real girls any day of the week. I mean, my eyes are my eyes are sore. Comprehensive. Nah. Some real classics. Huh. Always enjoyed the theater.
Welcome to Cinephone. Take a listen to the forthcoming features in your area. Good poison. After the first taste, you're hooked. It's like nothing you've ever tried before. It's zero to 60 a second. From an early age, Stevie Moss found himself surrounded by bad influences. Go on, Stevie. Let's get high, then get nasty. And he made the most of them. A tale of our times, a story about being bad and getting away with it. Audiences across America are getting buzzed on good poison. Rated R. Impressive stats.
I can't make it to the phone right now, so leave a message. I...
Sweetie, is that you? You've been gone for so long, I started to worry. Sweetie? Who are you? Harry? How do you know me? Where's Cheryl? Still at the lighthouse, maybe. Lighthouse? What are you doing here, Harry? Looking for Cheryl. Isn't this my house? Who are you? You look really good. Who are you? We're soulmates, you and I. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. You're my wife? 